What is going on guys, Smooth Racing here, back with a brand new video, and today we've got our F1 2014 Team Previews Caterham. This is the penultimate episode of our Team Previews. This is Caterham then, and the Green Cucumber Team, <laughs> who haven't got a point in their four years in Formula 1. Really unfortunate for them, but I think this year presents the best opportunity for Caterham to score points. And the, this is certainly, I think, their, you know, Tony Fernandez has even said, this is their make or break year definitely you know get it wrong don't score points and i think tony Penand tony Penandes, tony fernandez is going to pull the plug on the whole caterham f1 team and uh, the team will be put up on the market for sale because i cannot see fernandez being interested in you know caterham not scoring points you know every formula one team wants to win wants to have success and caterham have had none in four years not very good to see i mean it's so hard to you know tell you why they haven't had success i suppose it's you know heavily down to the downforce or the lack of downforce they have on their car and i suppose you know just some of the engineers they don't have the uh, fun we know they have they actually have quite a bit of money i think they have more money than the likes of force india but still manage to uh, do worse than force india actually a lot worse you know Caitlin were just so far over the pace last year they never looked like they were ever going to score points the closest they came i think was a 14 for something in malaysia and that was just a lucky race or something i can't remember but i think it was early on in the season summertime around spain or something one of them got a 14 position but that was you know they were nowhere near the points in any race really and definitely not on the pace and really caterham need to improve their pace i mean they can just bank on you know them you know getting a really lucky race and scoring but really you know they need the pace to actually deserve those points and i think that uh, with the good reliability they have on their car they could be in quite a good position to do that although of course they have got the renault power unit and that could all change as we head to melbourne you know we don't know how that's going to affect them and uh, how well they can continue their good reliable form but they did show you know they showed some really good reliable form in testing but can they carry that on into Melbourne and indeed the rest of the season that's still a question yet to be asked but uh, I think yeah definitely a, a, you know a, a make or break year for, for Caterham F1 team it definitely could be their last year and I think it could possibly the you know their last year there was rumours that the Caterham Russia team would actually join for the 2014 season but that that sort of faded away in 2013 and as for the drivers then they've brought in Marcus Ericsson a GP2 driver not the best GP2 driver but still a pretty good driver and then Kamu Kobe actually the uh, F1 refugee from Sauber. He uh, spent three years at Sauber and he managed one podium, but he's a very popular driver and I think a very good driver. He suits Caterham well because he's sort of a dual die driver and he can really pull it out of bag for amazing. Maybe not the most consistent, but certainly, so, uh, but certainly, definitely an impressive driver and Ericsson. It could be quite a good partnership. We'll have to see who comes out on top. Pretty much predicting that Kobe actually will, but uh, it'll be interesting to see. And I think Caterham will score points this year, but you can leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below if you think Caterham will score a point. I think they will. I mean, they've got that very interesting nose. They're definitely the most unique part of their car, but they are actually changing to the uh, Lotus Twin Tusk nose um, in Spain. So, uh, interesting season ahead for Caterham. Will they score points? So that is the main question. But uh, yeah, I've been smooth racing then. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.